Hey guys, hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and uh, now a happy new year. This video will probably go up right around that time. So I am excited to start the new year um, and I wanted to sneak in this uh, December inked um, video before I can't so um, as you can see I got a new um, Euro I think it's called Euroliku um, it's a case for um, pens and more and I really like it this came out a while ago probably two years ago or something and I never thought I would actually uh, be um, getting this case but I noticed that I needed uh, more than my fountain pens on me and all my fountain pen cases are for three uh, fountain pens and I don't know I just um, I was really drawn to this case so I just had to try it um, and so far I actually really like it it's worked so good um, I've had it for about a week now and uh, I always um, have more than three uh, fountain pens inked up so I needed a place where I can put more than that and uh, not only that I, I there's a compartment here to put uh, extra fountain pens and even scissors and a uh, glue stick so I actually really really like this uh, case um, I can show you that well I don't want to pull everything up but I have like everything that I would um, need in here I even have like a paintbrush and this fits um blackwing pencils and tombos so yeah this is a really nice case and i just fold it over and it's secure um so then on the left is like all my currently inked pens and um so we'll start from there. I uh, actually tried filming a currently inked video, but I didn't like how it turned out. Um, so I've already swatched everything and I'll just uh, share what I have in them. But the first one here is, as you guys know, I recently received the uh, Cult Pens exclusive Kaweco Gold. And uh, this is in a stub nib. And so far, it's I have no complaints. It's uh, working you know as it should um, and in here you guys know that I have it inked up with Dime Mine Three Kings Koiko Gold and it's like this really warm yellow uh, ink with really nice shading if you can see that it's the lighting's not great today but but this is uh, my currently inked um, and the this is the pre fountain platinum and this is in the fine and i bought this pen pretty long time ago um and i really wanted like a green pen so um and this was like a very budget friendly pen uh it's one of those platinum nibs and it has a sealing mechanism on in the cap so you can literally not dry out this pen and so I decided to ink it up with platinum pre uh sorry with diamine spruce because it's such a like a thick ink and um it could definitely you know dry up your nibs pretty badly I think so I put it in here and I thought that was like perfect color as well and the ink has like a reddish sheen it's really nice and this ink i definitely will be getting a bottle this is in the scent of spruce uh so i am loving this ink so that's uh what is in this one next is this Bennu uh venus hair and I have had this for I think about four weeks now and it is definitely one of the largest nibs I think it's number five uh, it's definitely the largest nib I write you use I like most of it is all like smaller than this um, so it does get take some getting used to but this is a very wet nib and it writes very very smoothly right out of the box and I really have no complaints about this uh, pen 
and it's such an eye catcher. Uh, I love um, looking at it. Uh, just you know, just looking at it just makes me happy. So um, it's actually very light, and it's lighter than my sailor. Um, so yeah. So oh, and <laughs> this one I have it inked up. You guys know I haven't switched out. It is the Diamond Coco Shimmer, which is this beautiful like brownish copper ink with a uh, gold shimmer right here, and it's a very lovely warm brown. And it fits this pen so well see so I keep it in there and lastly well not sorry not lastly but uh, this is um, my latest Lamy and I am loving the look of it I love this uh, color I always knew I was going to get this um, as one of my last pens for 2022 um, but unfortunately, the this nib came uh, misaligned again. <laughs> like I gave Lamy a, another chance. If you, if you see my past fountain pen videos, you'll know that I have had issues with two previous Lamy pens already, uh, and now this is my third time purchasing a Lamy and having uh, the nibs not aligned so that like when I write with it there's actually paper bits that gets crusted up at the t at the top of the of the tines at the ends because it's like when I'm writing it's it's so scratchy that it scratches the surface of the paper and then if you do it enough it will form little like uh, small pieces or dust from the paper um, I'm not really good at explaining, but if you've experienced it, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to be contacting Cull Pens and see if they can send me a replacement nib. This is the fine nib. So, um, I don't know, it's, it's pretty sad, but uh, I don't know if they'll do anything because I waited the longest time to unbox this and I've had it for like a month now, I think a month. Okay, maybe not a month, so maybe I still have a chance, but I'll contact Call Pens and see if they can suggest anything or send me a replacement. Because um, last time when I had issues with another retailer, they didn't hesitate to send me a replacement nib and they, it fixed the problem. So, uh, I mean, I tried to align it myself. Uh, it's not crazy It's not crazy misaligned. Uh, I have a loop and I was looking at it but I don't know, like, it doesn't look misaligned, but it's very scratchy, so I really don't know. Like, if you have any suggestions, please let me know down below, like, what else I can try, um, you know? So, yeah, so this is very unfortunate because I love the look of this pen. Um, and lastly, I have um, this rickshaw pen sleeve because it's for my precious uh, sailor Christmas pudding and this one I still have the sailor tea time uh, Christmas ink in here and I think it just matches so well with the top um, design and uh, I love this ink so much it's very uh, it's a very orange well it's not really orange it has an orange undertone so it's a very warm red and um, it just I don't know I love it and this pen I have no issues with it it writes perfectly uh, it's so nice um, like the nib is just amazing in this one I have no complaints and I notice that this gold is a um, light gold compared to my other uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I think it was a Slim Mini. And the gold is more yellow. This is more like champagne gold. So um, I think it's to match like the, what is this called? I forgot. It's to match the colors better with this pen. And it really is beautiful. So um, yeah, I just love this one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think the colors are, you know, 
very simple yet pretty I don't know like it has a lot of variations in all of them and I really I'm really enjoying like the shimmer inks uh, this holiday season and I have to say um, I'm really happy with the inks that I have right now and I will be doing uh, ink vent diamond ink vent um, full review on my channel coming up i just haven't gotten around to filming it but i can't wait to share with you all the inks that was included in the calendar um, and which one are my favorites and to share with you how they all look so um that's pretty much it for this video um if you have any questions about these pens let me know and i will also uh, update everyone about i don't know what happens like with the nib on this um if not i'm just going to have to try to straighten it out myself or just continue to fix it and um hoping not to have to buy another nib and risk that not being aligned as well so um i was thinking of getting um, what's it called micro mesh or something like that i have to look into it but um yeah that might be something i need to do uh to tune the nib so if you have any idea please let me know um but other than that that's my uh december inked and i'm loving it some of the inks are already running out so i have to I have to um i guess revise um the ink selections for January but currently I'm just loving this combination um, this is so nice this one is uh, did I even I never talked about what ink was in here so in here I have a light well a more lighter brown it's more brown but with um, green sheen um, this one the diamond spruce has a red sheen but this one is like a green so I thought that was really nice I like this as well it's called pick me up by dye mine part of the ink vent calendar as well um, so yeah it's 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 really nice I love my brown inks and I'm going to uh, I write with them brown inks every day uh, and I love it so it's my go-to uh, so yeah guys if you have any questions uh, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video take care now bye